morning fellow hunters. Um, today I'd like to show you a method that I use to easily load um, a white-tailed deer in the back of a side-by-side -side, or perhaps um, the same method could be used to load the deer in the back of a pickup truck as well. Um, a lot of times we hunt by ourselves. Um, I have a son who's off to college and I have uh, some hunting buddies who are known to um, oversleep. So sometimes you're out there by yourself and look at we all have glass backs and to load a deer on the back of a side-by-side -side or a pickup truck by ourselves um, could compromise the health of your back. So I'm going to show you today a method that I use to easily get a white-tailed deer maybe perhaps 150 pound to 200 pound white-tailed deer in the bed of your side-by-side -side pickup truck, what have you, easily, effortlessly, with minimal effort, minimal cost. Check it out. So my hunting buddies say, well, you know, to get a deer in the back of the side-by-side, -side, why don't you utilize the electric winch you have in the front of my side-by-side, -side, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that, actually. I know you can probably bring this synthetic cord up and over, but I don't want to compromise my roof of my side-by-side, -side, or maybe even perhaps the windshield. So, yeah, there's probably methods you can use to, to, to utilize the electric winch. Um, not quite sure how to do that. Maybe a series of some type of pulley systems up and over. Um, don't know. But I'm going to still show you my method. Um, but maybe someday I'll try to utilize what I have here to get a deer in the back of my side-by-side, -side, but I just haven't figured that out yet. Okay, here's today's scenario. Uh, my son's off to college. Uh, my hunting buddies overslept. They missed their five o'clock alarm. And I just put the smack down on this six point. And it looks like he might go, I don't know, 120 pounds. So I'm by myself. So I have to figure out a way to get this deer. I'm out in the woods. I have to figure out how to get this deer in the back of my side-by-side -side without um, hurting my back. So again, if you have two people, you can easily pick this deer up and put it in. But again, I'm by myself. So I'm gonna show you my simple method, my simple trick to get this harvest in my in my ranger. Okay, so um, let's get started. The materials that I'm going to need uh, to get the deer up in the in the bed here are items that were laying around the farm that I found in the barn and. Um, one is an old pulley. Um, you can actually buy a, a lot smaller pulley at the hardware store. Just a little, just a pulley. And I'll show you how we're going to utilize that. Um, a couple pieces of rope. Um, I'm going to use this chain again. It was hanging in the barn. It's perfect for what I'm going to be using it for right now. And I also had this... I don't know, 30 foot rope. Again, that was laying around. I'm going to utilize it. And um, I had an old, an old plank. An old plank that was in the barn. I found a strap hinge. Um, I cut the plank in half. It was an eight foot plank. Cut it in half, four foot. And that just so it carries easy in the back of back of my ranger. Again, that strap hinge I found laying on the floor in the barn. Um, a couple pieces of plywood just to make that ramp a little wider to pull the deer up. 
Um, I'll show you how we're going to utilize that. But again, all these items, I didn't buy any of them. They're just laying around in the barn. And um, we're going to use all of them to get that critter up in the, up in the ranger. Okay, so um, I'm assuming, I should never assume, but I'm assuming that uh, most bed of pickup trucks and utility vehicles have tie-down hooks in the corners um, of the bed. But anyhow, I utilize those. I have the chain going through those tie-down hooks, and I have the chain going through the ring of the pulley. And I got that pulley situated uh, just so it's about in the center. So now um, I'm going to take that 30 foot rope. I'm going to secure it to a tree and run the lead rope, the end of the rope, through the pulley, and that'll be attached to the deer. Let me relocate the camera and um, I'll put the ramp in place so you can see exactly what's going on here. So there's the tree I have the rope secure too. I suppose if you're out in the field, you can do the same thing with a fence post. Okay, so let me put the ramp in place. Let me put the deer, our 120 pound six point on the ramp and let's see if we can get this up in the bed of my ranger effortlessly. Now, I don't know if it's better to have the antlers go first or have the antlers at the, at the back. If I have the antlers go first, it might snag up on the tailgate. So I'm going to put the antlers down on the bottom here, like so, okay? Let's speed the lead end of the rope through the pulley. Okay, let's secure the deer. Okay, ramps in place, rope is secured, secured in the pulley. Let's pull this critter up.
so that sure beats trying to lift it straight up on the tailgate. You, I'm 64 years old. A lot of you are probably could be a lot stronger than I who could do it, but but what happens if it was a black bear? You do the same process with a black bear. But anyhow, I hope this video helps. It could save somebody's back. But hey, have fun and good luck. Stay safe. Deer season this year.